Hello. Good morning, all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. So uh, we will start our. Thank you for joining all. We will start our orientation session, and uh, so we would like to know how many of you are attending a Speak My K program for the first time. You can raise your hands. Good morning, Sabya. Hello, hello, ma'am. Good morning. Can I request you something? Yes. So, can I request Supriti ji to tell a little bit about the convention because they are new? Can I? Yes, yes, yes of course. Yeah, Supriti, please, can you just uh, welcome all the new children and tell them what is convention? Sure, sure. We'll do that. We'll do that. We will. So, uh, should I show some? Uh, would, I mean, we would like to show them some of the orientation, uh, uh, maybe audio, video uh, clips about how uh, you know what all they can, what all speak my case first of all, and what a convention is. So, as I can see, that uh, almost uh, close to. Uh, 10, 10, 12 of you are, are attending for the first time. So uh, we we would like to show you some details about what SpeakMeK is. And uh, then we will uh, discuss in detail about what the international convention will be, how it will be held and what are the guidelines and uh, what you can be expecting out to get out of the convention. So... Uh, <laughs> Okay, so I'm uh, requesting Sabya if you can just mute everybody else so that we don't have other. Yes, I've muted everyone. Okay. Supriti, you are muted. Yeah, I think he muted everybody. So, can you make me host, Sabya? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, hi, good morning, everybody. My name is Supriti, and uh, I have been a volunteer with Spikmaki since my student days, which is in 1986 that I joined the movement. And um, I think some of you were not even born that time. But it's been a very exciting journey for me to be a volunteer in Spikmake uh, because I get to meet lovely children like lots of you. Um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about our convention. Okay? Some of you have attended programs in your school uh, at some point or the other. So there are many, many modules of Spikmake. You know, there is um, heritage tours that we do. Uh, there are concerts and lecture demonstrations that we do. We do cinema classic uh, screenings. And then we have a discussion with the students along with the director sometimes. Um, we also take you <clears throat> on an uh, overnight journey of six different concerts. We have craft workshops. So we also have folk performances. So all the modules of Sigma K come together in the convention. Otherwise, in your school, you would have attended one program of just 90 minutes. And you would have got a chance to ask questions to one artist. But in the convention, all the modules of Sigma K are brought together in one week where you come and you stay in the campus and from morning 3.30 till night 9.30, 
you are chock a block full with things to do. So I know it sounds like a very, very tight schedule, but it has been designed very, very scientifically. And this is a tried and tested model that we have followed for. This is a tried and tested model that we have followed for more than 40 years. So when you come for the convention, I hope that most of you are arriving either on 28 late evening or on 29 early morning. Have you all booked your tickets? Just raise your hand if you have. Okay, wonderful. If you haven't, make sure you get your tickets booked today. The good thing is that the airport in Nagpur is just 15 minutes away from the venue, VNIT. And the railway station is also just 20 minutes away from the venue, which is VNIT. You know what is VNIT, na? Vishveshwaraya National Institute of Technology. They have a beautiful, large, green campus, which is full of uh, plants and uh, lots of trees. And in the middle of that, they have their buildings where we will be staying or where we will be uh, conducting our programs, where the auditorium is, where the classrooms are for the workshops. So it's a beautiful green campus and a lot of teachers from the NIT and a lot of faculty members and students are volunteering so that they can make it a pleasant experience for you. So what are you going to do when you come there? Okay, have you ever woken up at 3.30 in the morning? Can you raise your hand if you did? Have you ever done a yoga session with Spikmake before? Okay, all right. So how does the yoga session work? We have um, Hath Yoga and we have a very, 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 very senior Swami Tyagraj from the Bihar School of Yoga, who has spent his lifetime learning and teaching yoga. Right now, as we speak, he is in the jungles of Odisha in a place called Jharsaguda, which is actually uh, a few days ago, it was the hottest at 47 degrees. But he is doing some nice uh, meditation there along with his disciples. So he is going to come. He's a lot of fun to be with. Don't think because he's a Swamiji, he's very serious and all. No, he's a lot of fun to be with. He's going to spend three hours doing Hatha Yoga, where you can, where he's going to make you do the asanas and pranayam and meditation. And he will also sing some bhajans. So he will have a mridangam and a harmonium and it's going to be very nice. He's going to spend three full hours with you, 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. You can opt for this or you can go for another option, which is Nada Yoga. Nada Yoga is what is done by Dhrupadiyas. You know who a Dhrupadiya is? People who sing Dhrupad. And we have the best guru to teach you Nada Yoga. That is Ustad Vasifuddin Dagar. He has got a Padma Shri. More importantly, he's the 20th generation of a family which traces its lineage to, you know who? To Tansen. Do you know who Tansen is? Do you know who Tansen is? Okay, good job. So he is going to teach us Nada Yoga. Nada means sound. And Nada Yoga means doing yoga through sound. So he's going to help us do that for three full hours from 4 to 7 a.m. Then you have another option of doing 90 minutes of Hatha Yoga and 90 minutes of Gurbani. So 90 minutes of Hatha Yoga with uh, Guru Shishir, who has also learned from the Bihar School of Yoga. 
he lives in pune and he is coming specially for this and then after that we will have gurbani which is uh, actually um, the the prayer that is uh, sung in gurudwaras you know the interesting thing about gurbani that there are specific ragas in which the gurbani has to be sung and because it is rag based prayer the person who sings it is called a ragi so when you go to a temple you say pandit when you go to a mosque you say malvi when you come to a gurudwara you find ragis so this gurbani is going to be taught to us by guru alankar singh who is a, a faculty member in patiala university and he has been associated with sikmaki for many many years okay so here you have the 90 plus 90 minute option but you do little bit of hatha yoga and little bit of gurbani and then we have one very intense art form called kudiyattam it is the oldest form of sanskrit theater in the country and and the artist who's coming to teach us that is guru margi madhu you know this kudiyattam is so intense and so powerful this also has a lot of singing the artist when they are performing they have to sing from the deepest voice that they can get and they have to dance so that is like physical exercise as well as well as nad exercise so this is going to be um i i, I don't know if i told you but kudiyattam has been declared by unesco as the oral intangible uh, treasure of humanity and uh, this is a rare honor for an art form to get but in india in kerala kudiyattam has actually got this so we have the best artists to come and do this with you this is from 4 to 7 so you have to make a choice which one you want to be in and then whichever one you choose you should stick to that for all the five days otherwise it won't be um otherwise it won't be nice if you do um if you do session hopping or guru hopping that's not what we want you to do because by the fifth day then you will get everything pakka pakka now after that you have to do 10 minutes or 15 minutes of shramadan and we keep it very simple when you are going from your uh, uh, yoga venue to your hostel pick up five pieces of uh, plastic and throw it in the dustbin no it's just so that we can keep the place clean clean up your room so that it's all neat and clean okay of course we will also have staff available to help you keep the hostel clean now after you quickly have a shower or your breakfast and your breakfast then you come to the workshops or the intensive so i'm going to request sabya to show us the intensives we have 22 workshops which we have got for you and the best artists okay so sabya can you just go down the screen a little bit yeah if we can see the intensives so there are music intensives there drupad by vasifuddin dagar hindustani vocal by prabha atre prabha atre ji is 85 years old but she is a strong woman you know she has got a padma vibhushan she has taught many 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 renowned artists of today you know she is like a beautiful teacher she has been teaching for many many years now then we have hindustani vocal also by Rajneesh Mishra ji he is uh, young and lot of fun to be with and um, Rajneesh ji is the son of Pandit Rajan Mishra those of you who have heard of Pandit Rajan and Sajan Mishra unfortunately we lost Rajan ji during covid but Rajneesh ji is his son and he is going to take one intensive 
Then we have a tabla intensive. If you have been learning tabla or if you want to learn tabla from the best tabla artist of this country, that is Pandit Suresh Talwalkarji. He is so good. He has got a, he has been honored with the Padma Shri and practically every second tabla artist has learned from Suresh. Ji. So it will be an honor if you get to be in his class. We will make sure we provide you the tablas. Otherwise, you bring your own with you. Okay. Carnatic vocal by S. Saumya, who is also a Sangeeta Kalanidhi. Those of you who know anything about Carnatic music, you will know Sangeeta Kalanidhi is given by the Madras Music Academy. She's very, very good and she will be there. We have Lalgudi G.J.R. Krishnan, who is the son of Lalgudi Jairaman, the big doyan of violin. Uh, he is going to teach Carnatic violin. So if you want to learn Carnatic violin, bring your violin with you. Then we have Gurbani again by Alankar Singh Ji. So if you have done Gurbani in the morning, maybe you can take something else in the evening, uh, in the afternoon. And then we have Satriya or Hotrio. It's a dance form. It's a classical dance from Assam by the greatest guru of Hotrio, that is Ghanakanta Boraji, who has been given a Padma Shri, and his uh, disciple, his prime disciple, Anvesha. Then we have Bharatanatyam by another Padma Shri awardee, and that is Minakshi Chitranji ji. He's very, very fine artist. Then we have Kuchipudi by Vaijayanti Kashi ji, one of the senior most artists of Kuchipudi in the country. And she is coming along with her daughter and disciple Pratiksha Kashi, who is also a film actor and a dancer. And she has been awarded by the Sangeet Natak Academy. Then we have Kathak by another great artist of Kathak, Ms. Predana Srimali. She uh, comes from the Jaipur Gharana. And uh, she used to be at the Kathak Kendra earlier. And she's one of the finest artists. And we have Mohini Atam. Do you know where Mohini Atam is from? Which state of India? Okay, where is ODC from? Obviously from? Odisha. Yes. And where is uh, Mohini Atam from? Kerala. Yeah, good job. Good job. So we are going to also ask you to do a little bit of research. Huh? You have to research on some of these art forms and some of these artists. Whether you're taking the intensive or not does not matter. Okay. So then ODC by Sujata Mohapatra ji, who's a very, very beautiful dancer. Like you, if you watch her dancing, you know, Odyssey is like that, no, very luscious and beautiful dance. So she is going to teach you that. So you know what? It's like if I got Einstein to teach you science, how will it be? Super, no? That's what it is. Okay. So we are bringing the best artists. Then we have Kudiyattam by Margi Maduji. Then we have Pandwani by Tijan Bai. You know who Tijan Bai is? She is one of the first women who started singing Pandavani. Can you guess what Pandavani is? The story of the Pandavas. Right? So she tells stories of the Pandavas. Pandavas are from the Ramayana or the Mahabharat? The Mahabharat. 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 Okay. So she, she tells stories of uh, the Pandavas, but you know what, because earlier only men could participate in this art form, so they, the men got angry that a woman has started singing this. And they started sidelining her, they ostracized her, they asked her to leave the village and go away. And she had to go and roam around all on her own, but she did not give up. And she kept at it and she has built her own style of delivering Pandavani. Today, she's a senior, a senior citizen and the government is so impressed with her work. They have given her a Padma Vibhusha.
Yes, please continue, ma'am. Okay. So if you go down, then we have Pung Cholom. You know, Pung Cholom is good if you want to do little acrobatics also. If you're a little bit sporty, you want to try that. Because in Pung Cholom, no, they take somersaults and they turn in the air. And this is while they are holding drums. This is an art form which comes from the northeastern part of the country, from Assam, Manipur. That is where they practice it. And we have the best guru to teach you that. So it's a lot of fun. Then you have, again, Hatyo. We have a session of Hatyo also with Swami Tyagraj. So those who did not join his session in the morning, you can join this in the uh, from 9 to 12. Now, some of you don't want to dance. Some of you don't want to sing. So for you, we have something different. Okay, And that is our craft workshop. So, Sabya, if you can go down a little bit to show all the craft workshops. We have Sarkashi art, which comes from Rajasthan. You know, in our country, in every state, there are different forms of art, different forms of craft, different forms of painting. So, lots of paintings are there, like Matani Pacheri, like Chittara, like Varli, like Pattachitra, like miniature painting like Madhubani painting, like cherial painting, like temple mural art painting, so many different painting forms. I wish we could have had all of them. But anyways, we have some of the best ones. So we have Tarkashi art by Ram Swarup Sharma ji. He has been identified as a Shilpa guru. So in the whole country of 1.4 billion people, he is that one guru who can teach you this. Okay, So understand where he is at the peak of his art form. Then we have Matani Pacheri by Bhanu Bhai Chitara. This is from Gujarat and he has been given a Padma Shri for painting a beautiful Matani Pacheri. So if you understand Gujarati, Matani Pacheri, Pache, Mane Piche. So Jo Ma Durga ka temple hota hai na, Usme, they put this painting at the back of the idol. And that's why it is called Matani Pacheri. Piche lagate, isle usko Matani Pacheri. Then you have miniature painting by Jay Prakash Ji from Delhi. He is also someone who has been awarded a Padma Shri. How many people do you know who have got Padma Shri? Tell me. Do you know anyone in your life? In and around you, who has got Padma Shri? Raise your hand. Nay, Malu. Acha, koi to Malu hoga. Hena, somebody. Then, have you met them? Have you talked to them? Have you got a chance to interact with them? Have you got, got a chance to ask them questions? Maybe, maybe not. So this is a great opportunity to be with the best people in our country. Then we have Bagh print by Muhammad Yusuf Khatriji from Madhya Pradesh. So it's like a block print actually that is done and it's called Bagh printing. And then we have natural dye indigo block printing, which is done by Bridge Ballab Udaiwalji from Rajasthan. All of them are great gurus. You have to make a choice. I'm sure you've already made the choice, but you have to make the choice and then stick to it. So before you come for the convention, do research. Anyways, you have holidays. You have nothing to do, isn't it? So you can do. And anyways, nowadays, research is only Google Baba research. You just Google and that's it, isn't it? So find out about your gurus because these are the people you will meet. Imagine if I see Sachin Tendulkar and I don't know he's Sachin Tendulkar. I will ask, huh, who is he? I don't know. You're meeting the Sachin Tendulkar of crafts, of art, of music, of dance. Okay? So all this is going to happen. And then, Sabya, you want somebody else to uh, sort of take over for the afternoon and evening sessions? Otherwise, I will continue. 
सभ्या अच्छा ओके सो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क मी नाउ यस आई थिंक भूषण कुलकर्णी यू हैव रेज योर हैंड यू कैन आस्क योर क्वेश्चन Okay, those who have any queries, please feel free to unmute and ask your question. Namaskar, ma'am. Namaste. मैं पूछना चाह रहा था कि ये जो हठ योग नाद योग और गुरबानी वाला जो सेशन है तीन सेशन इसमें से हमें एक ही चूज करना होगा कोई है ना हाँ जी जी तो मान लो अगर हमें हठ योग में जाना है तो एक ही गुरु हमें पूरे पांचों दिन एक ही गुरु कराएंगे हमें जी थ्री और अच्छा जी और हठ योग और नाद योग का कॉम्बिनेशन नहीं है मानो दोनों योग हमें करना हो नाद योग और हठ योग तो आप शिशिर जी और गुरबानी का कर सकते अच्छा गुरबानी इज लाइक नाद योग सॉन्ग इट्स म्यूजिक तो उसमें ध्रुपद जैसा नाद नहीं है एकदम बेस लोअर ऑक्टिव नहीं यूज होते हैं मगर उसमें म्यूजिक ही है जी ओके थैंक यू और प्रियंका यू हैड अ क्वेश्चन यस मैम नमस्ते नमस्ते विद्यालय पंचकुला मैम आई वांट टू नो अबाउट दैट वी हैव फिल द कन्फर्मेशन फॉर्म कैन वी फिल इट अगेन बिकॉज वी गेट लॉस ऑफ नॉलेज नाउ so can we fill it again i think sabya sachi should answer this question yeah uh can you come again ma'am uh, okay sir namaste actually uh, i am from bhavan vidyalaya panchkula haryana can we uh, we have fill our confirmation form can we fill it again because we get now lots of knowledge about the uh, workshop so we want to change few things Uh, no, don't fill it again. So, uh, our so actually, I'll give you the contact number of uh, one of our volunteers. Uh, he will, if you want to change it, you can ask him to update it on 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 your behalf. Okay, sir. When you uh, how you get uh, how we get the number of that person? Uh, okay, okay. I'll I'll send you his number. Just one second. Uh, his name is Mehboob. So, uh, you can call him. and ask him to update it because if you fill it twice then uh, you know uh, we will get the uh, duplicate uh, data right so yeah oh, yes. yes yes now you have sent okay sir i will not down it thank you so much okay excuse me yes. sir may i what day good morning sir good morning sir i just wanted to confirm for the paintings uh, for the painting sessions we have to bring the stationery or it will be provided because we don't know what type of stationery will be used in them so you will be provided you will be provided with all the material thank you so much ma'am yeah yeah and uh, you can also you know those of you who have poster colors or water colors uh, you can bring them so if if in case required definitely you can use your uh, poster colors water colors and brushes as well so definitely yeah that also you can bring okay sir okay sir thanks yeah also a uh, few okay mm, yeah please go on those who have more questions good morning sir dipak goes up Can't hear you. Morning, ma'am. Can you hear me now? Is that good? Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can hear you. Yes, yes. Actually, actually, we joined late. So, regarding vocal music, like Sanjay Gandhi, the music coming here is very important. If one and one more question, if one student has already registered for music and vocal, then The student 
मुझे तो समझ नहीं आया सर आपका क्वेश्चन आप टाइप कर देंगे चैट बॉक्स में मैम ये मैं बोल रहा हूँ हिंदुस्तान लोग जॉन तो हिंदुस्तानी क्लासिकल में कौन कौन आ रहे हैं ये हम लोग सर वो शेड्यूल में हाँ हाँ वो सर शेड्यूल में हमने दिया है कौन कौन आ रहे हैं इवन फॉर्म में आपको ऑप्शन में भी दिया रहेगा कंफर्मेशन फॉर्म जो है ना आपको मेल पर हमने प्रोवाइड किया है तो अगर आप कंफर्मेशन फॉर्म ओपन करेंगे तो उसमें ड्रॉप डाउन में आ, सारे गुरु के नाम दिए हुए हैं शेड्यूल भी दिया हुआ है पोस्टर भी आपको मिल जाएगा सर आप अपना क्वेश्चन टाइप कर चैट बॉक्स पे हमें आपका थोड़ा आवाज आपकी थोड़ी सी कम वो आ रही है हल्की आ रही है हेलो हेलो आई एम फ्रॉम अंकलेश्वर वी हैव फिल्ड द कंफर्मेशन फॉर्म आल्सो बट मे आई नो प्लीज द व्हेन विल वी गेट द बस we will reach there on 29th 1025 uh, okay so we will send you the timings of the bus uh, in a separate mail aapko okay. provide ki jayegi to uh, for now you can uh, and one more thing sir uh, i am a teacher i wanted to know uh, even i want to join the intensive the in the confirmation form uh, the selection for the teachers was not written so ओके सो टीचर्स कैन अटेंड विच एवर इंटेंसिव देयर स्टूडेंट्स आर अटेंडिंग ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच हाँ Uh, in the confirmation form, it was not written for uh, selection for the teachers is not written. So I have not uh, mentioned my intensive. Okay, so when you are coming uh, to the venue that time itself, if we can uh, have you identify which intensive you want to go to, because yeah. we yeah. do want teachers to take little extra responsibility. आप okay. जो भी इंटेंसिव में होंगे हम आपको रिक्वेस्ट करेंगे उसको भी थोड़ा सा मैनेज करना है हाँ वो तो करेंगे लास्ट टाइम ऑल्सो आई है सेम थिंग इन द आई आई टी बॉम्बे अच्छा आई एम भरत एडम डांस टीचर अच्छा ओके देन यू शुड यू शुड ट्राई गोइंग फॉर कर्नाटिक वोकल म्यूजिक मैम भरतनाट्यम का वो कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री है भरतनाट्यम में जाओगे तो आपको उतना कुछ मतलब आपको क्या <laughs> I want to learn more and more. पर ये तो बेसिक सिखाते ना इंटेंसिव आर ऑल बेसिक बेसिक आपके तो बहुत अच्छे एक आर्टिस्ट आ रहे हैं अलर मेल वली जी आ रहे हैं बहुत अच्छा डांस करते हैं वो चीज अब पद्म भूषण अवॉर्डी वेरी सीनियर आर्टिस्ट ऑफ भरतनाट्यम शी इज परफॉर्मिंग ऑन वन ऑफ द इवनिंग तो अच्छा लगेगा आपको हाँ थैंक यू वेरी मच एक्सक्यूज मी डे सर Yes, uh, I am from uh, Nagpur, Maharashtra, from Rajendra High School. Uh, actually, yeah. we already fill up the confirmation form before only, and still I receive the mail from your side uh, along with the link. So, can I again fill it up? The confirmation form. Uh, link no, uh, yeah, online. yeah, correct, correct. So, ma'am, actually, uh, we do. You don't need to fill it up again. If you have already fill it, filled it, you can ignore it. actually that is yeah. a uh, like yeah because uh, many of the institutes have not yet filled so that was just a, a gentle reminder for those who have not filled if you have filled it it's okay. it's fine yeah yes and uh, i already submitted the hard copy also along with the soft copy so yeah sure sure that that's fine so uh, yeah that is what uh, we are uh, requesting that all the institutes uh, please fill up the confirmation form and then there is a undertaking uh, form also attached with the email so uh, just fill that undertaking form it requires you know you know i'll just uh, share that uh, on the screen also so just for uh, you know uh, some clarity so thank you sir you're welcome
So somebody has asked, do we need special clothes for yoga? Yes, definitely you need. See, it is hot in Nagpur, so you must make sure you bring cotton clothes. Please don't bring synthetic clothes because that will make you feel even more hot. Okay, so make sure that you bring cotton clothes and loose clothes. Don't bring tight jeans to come and do dance intensive or tight jeans to do your uh, yoga because that will not help. So bring loose fitting clothes and uh, you have to bring a separate bed sheet also or a yoga mat, whatever you have at home. Uh, for the yoga session. Uh, always keep a bottle of water with you. Because it is hot, you must drink a lot of water and we are, you are spending three hours in the yoga session. So keep a bottle of water with you. And make sure you fill it up in the breaks. There will be many water coolers available. So you can fill up your water bottle every now and then. Okay. Yes, so I'm just showing this um, uh, undertaking form that we have uh, sent to you in the email. So uh, you uh, so you can uh, go through this, and uh, uh, so we are uh, you know we are requesting you to uh, either not bring your cell phones, or if you bring your cell phones, then uh, we will ask you to uh, keep it with us for the seven days, and on the seventh day, that is the uh, morning, the fourth. 4th of june morning we will give you uh, give you all the cell phones back to you and uh, you know then you can depart for the heritage tour so this is a undertaking which you can uh, sign it and you know attach it on, to the form on behalf of the uh, uh, institute right so yeah also also i would request mm -hmm. that you know sorry uh, i just want to know that uh, each of them keep their phone because we are coming from delhi parents would like to know about their kids not giving the intensives and all. Uh, they, uh, even the teacher needs to deposit the phone, so she can keep it. There. No, teacher also needs to de deposit the phone. Uh, so uh, we will give you certain uh, contacts of, of the state coordinators and volunteers from various... Parents, uh, parents, actually, parents uh, need to know about the uh, well-being of their students. At least so once a day, we have to yeah. Even to the school, we have to report what is happening daily. So uh, we have to report. So we will have. Uh, hmm. We need to Okay, so yeah, we will have what we have uh, arranged is we will have five designated phone numbers uh, for uh, uh, throughout the you know seven days. So uh, those five phone numbers uh, will be uh, given to you. And if parents or teachers or school principals need any updates of what is going on, where are my kids and what is happening, uh, are they safe, they can call on those five phone numbers and get all the updates. And if you also want to call back to your, uh, you know, uh, anybody from your school or from your at your house, those five volunteers mobiles will be available. You can approach them and call them once a day from that that numbers. So oh, I want that. to say this, you know, please set the expectation for parents. Once you reach Nagpur, you can let the parents know that you have reached. Once you enter VNIT, when you register, you're also going to hand over your mobile phone. So my advice is students must not carry any mobile phone. Mobile phones should be only carried by the teacher. And when the teacher comes in to VNIT, please inform the parents. If you can make a small WhatsApp group of the parents of the children who are coming with you, just inform them that you have reached VNIT. Okay? And then you will register and hand over your phone. Please set the expectation for the parents that they cannot call every day and ask, Beta, tumne kya khaya? what happened today? You know, we are trying to do a small experiment. It's not an experiment. It's a small investment that the students are making in themselves, which is to learn to immerse themselves fully in this exercise. And there is a reason and a purpose for that. If they do that, the result will be 10 times better than if 
every day, morning, evening, they are calling up their parents. That's a habit we have. We have to go beyond these habits. That's why we have an overnight in the convention where we learn to go beyond the habit of sleeping at night. We are doing things a little bit differently because we want to break free from addictions or habits that we have all developed. So my request is to the teachers, please set the expectation for all the parents that they will not get a chance to talk to their children every day. They must call only if there is an emergency. They must not call these. Otherwise, can you imagine we have 1,000 plus children and we have five dedicated people getting phone calls every day. I want to talk to my child or I want to try and break that just for a week, just for one week. No, I um, am requesting teachers to take the lead for this. Yeah, uh, and, uh, uh, and they can be assured no. that uh, uh, that all the students are in safe hands. So, uh, if they are still worried that uh, about uh, anything, they can still call on these numbers that we will provide to you. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Namaste, hello? sir and ma'am. Yeah, Ruchi, please go yeah. ahead. Ma'am, I just want to ask. Uh, my ward is uh, eleven years old. So is this age a little younger for this type of convention or? I do think it's young. We usually advise 13 and above. Uh, so if the child is okay to be without parents, then um, please come. But otherwise, I would think. He, he is okay with his teachers. So there is no problem. Also. Then it's okay. Okay, ma'am. If you, you have that confidence that the child is okay with the teachers to stay alone for uh, stay, stay alone, money they have to do their own thing, no brushing their teeth, you know, everything getting ready, uh, being there on time. So that's why we usually advise 13 plus. But if you have a student who's very interested and is only 11 and you feel that you are okay with it, you can take it. So you can take it. You have to take it a little bit. Okay, uh, sir. Uh, excuse me, ma'am, sir. Do we need to carry certain documents during the registration or a hard copy of form, um, anything like this? Or simply we need to register ourselves? Um, you can carry uh, a printout of the confirmation email that you have got. So that should be helpful. And, and if needed, I mean, carry your I cards also. If needed, we might want to see, but uh, but otherwise, yeah, just carry it for uh, uh, for reference purposes. I cards, anyways, they have to carry for their travel, whether flight or train. Yes. So, 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 unke paas hai, na? Oh. so Sharmila is asking, can we change our activity? Aap se state se ho, Sharmila? Sharmila? Sharmila. Okay, there's nobody there. All right, doesn't matter. Ah, yes, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Yeah, is that Sharmila? You asked a question, na? Whether we. Ah, can... yes, ma'am. Ah, yes, ma'am. Uh, can you clarify what is it that you have got? Which actually, activity? Actually, our child take Kathak activity. Hmm. We can uh, we can change the activity that one any required in. I think Sabia can answer that. So ideally, we we uh, we don't change the like uh, I mean, uh, so we don't change it, but uh, but that is just a preference given, right? So uh, yeah, in if in case you want to change it, you can call uh, Mehbu and ask uh, I mean ask him to update it. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you. So we have given the preferences. So, yeah. And also be open that, uh, suppose if you choose one uh, preference, right? So it can also happen that you get another uh, art form. So because obviously, if everybody, all 1,000 participants choose Kathak or if all 1,000 participants choose painting, then it will not 
be uh, feasible for us to allow i mean have so many so yeah by the way which one she wants to take bharatanatyam sir okay 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 i'm typing the uh, number of mehboob you can uh, contact him once if if you i mean only and only if extremely urgent you can fill the form again uh, but yeah but don't uh, i would suggest see one thing i want to say ma'am if a child is already learning one art form especially dance don't make them do the same art form it doesn't help them because the dance is very basic so if you are doing bharatanatyam tayyum tat tat tayyum ta they will be learning that only to wo bacche ko help nahi karega aap bacche ko aisa kuch sikhaiye jo usko help kare ya kuch naya perspective leke aaye uske liye to wo bharatanatyam sikh rahe to unko carnatic vocal ya carnatic violin ya kuch aur taal ka kuch tabla ka kuch sikha sakte hain because that is different so just think before you are changing you know just think of these things i don't think we should encourage changing but yeah. uh, contact mehboob that's all don't fill up the form again please don't do that bahut confusion ho jayega fir yeah. okay ma'am okay okay no problem yeah thank you actually uh, more of more over it is uh, it is to give you an experience of how to learn how to learn so uh, we are trying to uh, you know in these seven days you're trying to get an experience of what is the process of learning an art form you're not going to exactly uh, become a master or learn that art form in these seven days but you will learn how do you approach learning something and what should be the in inclination the focus the discipline so through these art forms objective is not to teach you that art form uh, you know dr said says that all these art forms ye sab se bahana hai the real purpose of pursuing or doing any art form is to connect with your inner self so don't worry whichever art form you get right immerse yourself completely into that without thinking whether you know or don't know because the whole process is to unlearn what you have learned and then learn it back again so that is what and one more a uh, uh, few other guidelines we will share so these guidelines have been circulated uh, and we have shared with you in your email id as well so um yeah we can just quickly go through it see uh, we will make sure we give you a mattress and a pillow but bring your <coughs> bring your bed sheet pillow cover everything with you you don't need a blanket in this weather but at least one sheet one extra thick bed sheet or a yoga mat for yoga loose fitting clothes so on day 1 it will be nice if everybody wears their school uniform because then it looks nice there so many children from different parts of the country everybody is wearing their school uniform also easy for us to identify and uh, on the presentation day you are going to feel like dressing up but then if you don't have you should bring good traditional clothes for the whole week if you can advise at least for your presentation day because whatever you are learning in your workshop or intensive on the last day you are going to present in front of everybody so get nice clothes but don't i mean not like you are going to a wedding or something but yeah nice uh, traditional clothes okay and make sure all your toiletries mosquito repellent cream because especially when we go out on the field in the morning at 4 am to do yoga we may need this okay lock in key uh, for your uh, yeah just one small uh, thing so this point number 1 is extremely mandatory uh, please carry one two bed sheet one for putting up on the mattress and one for uh, you know uh, if you need yeah yeah if, uh, at night if you need for cover <laughs> and one pillow please try to carry that because you know uh, we are uh, we are doing our best to uh, provide uh, mattresses and cots and everything you know uh, we we have uh, been trying to provide for close to 1400 uh, 
participants so uh it's a very very huge arrangement so this part right if you can uh all if you all can bring two bed sheets and one pillow right that would be a a, a great uh you know a great support and uh yeah so so please remember this point number one because if you arrive there and then you you will get a mattress but uh, uh the bed sheets won't be there on the mattress so uh, please remember this without fail while packing your bags okay so everything written here is mandatory bring it because it's hot in Nagpur, it's good if you carry your umbrella. We don't know if it will start raining. So all these things, please carry yeah. this with you. Okay, don't miss. And don't carry your iPad or your mobile or cameras or any anything very expensive because <clears throat> you may be staying uh, four or five of you in one room. So you have to make sure you can lock your suitcase and go uh, and you don't have anything that can be stolen or, you know, some, we don't want incidents like that, right? So make sure of that. Tell your parents not to pack any home-cooked food for you to have during the week. It's not required. There is a design. We are going to provide you food. You will eat dinner early at 5 o'clock, finish by 6 o'clock so that it is digested by 9.30 when you're going to sleep, if you sleep with digested food in your stomach, you will wake up early because your stomach has less work to do. You'll automatically wake up by 3.30. But if you eat at 9.30 when you go back to your room, whatever your parents have sent for you, then you will feel heavy in the morning. You won't be able to wake up at 3.30. Then our volunteers will shake you up and throw water on you and wake you up. Do you want that? Okay, so, so everything is done with a lot of thought. So follow the process. Okay. Also, uh, ma'am, would you like to also uh, put across this last point? Yeah, so I would request the teachers, you know, you will have a bigger role <clears throat> to play because you are sort of taking care of the students. Um, but make sure, I'm sure you will all already do this, but you know, we want abundant caution. So we are saying, make sure you have every student's, uh, both parents' uh, names and contact numbers. Uh, please bring a medical kit with you and a sewing kit uh, because sometimes these are needed. So the medical kit can have basic stuff for pain, for stomach issues, digestion issues, uh, and things like that. For every child, if you're already on medication for anything, whatever it may be, whether it is asthma or migraine or anything else that you're on regular medication, please make sure you carry your medicines with you. I would like all the teachers to sit with their students, do a meeting where you go through the detailed international convention schedule and every institution which is participating must make one chart, one collage of any art form. You pick whatever you want. You want to research Kodiattam, you want to research Drupad. You want to research Kathakali. Even if Kathakali is not there in this particular international convention, if you want to research Kathakali, you can do that. No problem. So just better is it's in the art form because it's in the convention because we will then take these charts and we will display them. So that when you're coming back from lunch or from dinner, from breakfast, you can just walk around and see these beautiful charts. So make them beautiful with a lot of effort and put them up with the name of the school or the college at the bottom. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Hani, you have a question. Quickly, let's close with you then. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah. Ma'am. Uh... We had a form for the volunteer, but we didn't have a duty allocation for the duty. We have three people from the Anklishwar Gujarat. And our children are 39 people from here. Now, we have told you about the Anklishwar Gujarat. And we have 
फिर हम बाद में भी फॉर्म फिलअप करेंगे महबूब सर से बात करके तो वॉलेंटियर के तौर पे हमें हमारे स्टूडेंट के साथ में ही रहना है कि हमको मतलब फिर अभी लास्ट में होगा तो अलग जगह पे होगा ड्यूटी क्या होगा मैम हम आपको मेल पे प्रोवाइड कर देंगे इफ यू रजिस्टर्ड एज अ वॉलेंटियर वी आर हैविंग अ वॉलेंटियर मीटिंग टुडे एट 8:30 इन द इवनिंग ऑन द सेम लिंक दिस सेम लिंक तो आप 8:30 पे यही लिंक पे ज्वाइन करिए हम वॉलेंटियर्स का सारा डिटेल्स uh, आप provide, आपको प्रोवाइड करेंगे और मैम मेल पे भी प्रोवाइड कर देंगे सारे डिटेल्स हां यस yes, सर लेकिन सिर्फ हमको वही जानना है कि जब भी हम वॉलेंटियर के तौर पे आ रहे हैं ना तो हम अपने बच्चे हैं जो हां यहां से आ रहे हैं उनके साथ में रहेंगे या अलग जगह पे हां आप आप उनके साथ में रहेंगे आप उनके साथ में रहेंगे अच्छा तो कोशिश करेंगे, करेंगे कि आपको जो है आपके बच्चों के साथ में ही ड्यूटी दिए जाए है ना लेकिन कभी-कभी जैसे जब आफ्टरनून और इवनिंग सेशन है है ना तो बच्चे तो सब हॉल में होंगे सिर्फ 4 टू 7 एंड 9 टू 12 बच्चे जो है अलग-अलग क्लासरूम में होंगे लेकिन दोपहर में 5 बजे तक और 6 बजे से 9:30 बजे तक सब लोग एक हॉल में बैठ के कॉन्सर्ट सुनेंगे उस टाइम पे हम आपको और भी कुछ ड्यूटी अगर बता सकते हैं तो इट शुड बी ओके है ना ये सब वो सामान का पैकिंग की बात थी ना इसलिए कि फिर सब चीज अलग-अलग ना लेनी पड़े ना वही चीज थी बस इसलिए नहीं नहीं आपको बच्चों के साथ ही रखा जाए यस यस थैंक यू सो मच मैम और आपने जो भी आगे बताया ना कि 9:30 के बाद में खाना नहीं खाना है मतलब डाइजेशन मतलब पूरा जो है ना आपने अच्छे से मतलब बच्चों को हम लोग समझा रहे थे लेकिन अभी आपने जो समझाया ना अभी उनको ज्यादा समझ में आया कि क्यों नहीं खाना है घर से इतना खाना फिर वो चिप्स सब खा लेते हैं ना बच्चे तो और समय खाली नहीं होगा तो वो फ्रेश नहीं होंगे सही बताया आपने एकदम परफेक्ट और हम 4:00 बजे क्यों शुरू करते क्योंकि वो ब्रह्म मुहूर्त है कैसे है कि जो भी काम आप सुबह 4:00 बजे करते हैं वो अच्छे से आपके अंदर उसका फायदा आता है इसलिए बच्चों को भी हम पहले बोलते हैं ना पढ़ने के लिए सुबह उठ के पढ़ो तो एक बार में तुमको याद हो जाएगा वो सबसे अच्छा टाइम माना जाता है ब्रह्म मुहूर्त माना जाता है इसलिए हम ये ऐसे स्टार्ट करें तो हमारे बच्चों को इसका इसकी आदत नहीं है पर हम चाहते हैं कि एक एक्सपीरियंस होएगा तो वो चूज कर सकते हैं कि मुझे ऐसे रहना है या वैसे यस मैम सही है ये सुहानी के दादी है ना वो 20 साल से ब्रह्म मुहूर्त में ही उठते हैं तो भी आपने समझाया तो इनको ज्यादा समझ में आएगा थैंक यू नेहा लास्ट क्वेश्चन विद यू मैम ये क्वेश्चन था कि जो भी क्वेश्चन था कि जो इंश्योर है जो मेक योर कोलाज आर्ट फॉर्म जो उधर नीचे लिखा हुआ था तो वो समझ में नहीं आया कुछ सो नेहा यू कैन कॉल अस आफ्टर द मीटिंग आपको हम एक्सप्लेन कर देंगे मैं अपना नंबर डाल देता हूं एंड uh, मैं सुमन जी का भी नंबर डाल रहा हूं और सुप्रीति मैम का भी नंबर यहां पे लिख रहा हूं तो uh, अगर आपको सिर्फ और क्वेश्चंस हो तो आप फोन uh, पे भी uh, पूछ सकते हैं सुमन मैम है अभी हां जी हां जी मैं हूं नमस्ते मैंने मैंने सोचा आप चले गए हो नहीं नहीं मैं पूरा सुन रही हूं और आई एम रियली सो थैंकफुल टू सुप्रीति एंड सब्या जिन्होंने इतने अच्छे से सारे डाउट्स भी क्लियर किए और नंबर ऑफ द पीपल आर आल्सो टुडे इज मोर देन 90 पीपल आर देयर इन दिस मीटिंग सो सबके सारे डाउट्स आपने इतने अच्छे ढंग से क्लियर uh, किए हैं सो so, मैं आपको पर्सनली धन्यवाद देती हूं दोनों को थैंक यू थैंक यू और सबसे रिक्वेस्ट करती हूं कि नियम जो अभी बताए गए हैं उनको फॉलो करें और बच्चों को नियमों में रहना सिखाएंगे और बाकी तो मजा आएगा आप ये वन टाइम एक्सपीरियंस है लाइफ का लाइफ चेंजिंग एक्सपीरियंस है और मनोरंजन के लिए बिल्कुल नहीं है आपको एक्सपोज किया जाएगा आर्ट आर्ट फॉर्म से आपको पता लगना चाहिए कि हमारी भारतीय संस्कृति में कितनी सारी विधाएं हैं जिनके विषय में हमें थोड़ा-थोड़ा ज्ञान होगा तो हम कुछ भी चूज कर सकते हैं अपनी लाइफ में और आगे बढ़ सकते हैं थैंक यू ओके थैंक यू सो मच मैम एंड थैंक यू टू ऑल फॉर जॉइनिंग एंड वी थैंक यू फॉर टेकिंग आउट योर टाइम वी थैंक सुप्रीति मैम वी थैंक सुमन मैम वी थैंक ऑल ऑफ यू hope to look forward to you and uh, hope many of you become volunteers especially teachers and uh, faculty and spread the message thank you so much sabhi sachi i think anshuman ji bhi hain unko bhi 1 minute ke liye bulaiye 
जी 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 अंशुमन सर आप ओ आई थिंक ही जस्ट ड्रॉप देन इट इज ओके नो प्रॉब्लम निखिल वुड यू लाइक टू ऐड अ फ्यू वर्ड्स हां जो भी है उनको बुलाइए प्लीज निखिल है नहीं हां आई थिंक ही इज निखिल इज देयर निखिल वुड यू लाइक टू ऐड अ फ्यू वर्ड्स ओके आई थिंक थोड़ा माइक constraint hai so we will end the meeting today thank you all for joining so much okay bye everybody see you soon yeah bye bye everyone thank you so much everyone so pretty thank you sab log ek minute apna camera on kar lo please hi ma'am hi call later on <laughs> Okay bye Thank you ma'am bye ma'am thank, thank you. you thank you for joining Thank you all uh, Thank bye you so much Thank you very much